Hello and welcome to another episode of Chicken Bros. My name is David Heath. And I, I mean, I'm, I'm the notorious D.I.G. Mm. Man, that is kind of weak. <laughs> uh, and yes, it released literally today, or, you know, uh, I guess on the time we're recording this. We, Me and him live in different time zones, so it's a little wonky. But basically the newly released Space Jam 2, or Space Jam A New Legacy. I liked it. So did I. I honestly was not expecting to. I honestly, like, I couldn't get through the first movie. I enjoyed this one. Yeah, this was actually pretty solid. Is it a great movie? No. 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 But is it an enjoyable little thing? Yeah. If you're a fan of Looney Tunes and basketball, which I... And LeBron James. Well, I'm not really a huge fan of LeBron James himself. I'm a fan of the team he currently plays for, the Lakers, but... So, yeah, I mean, basically, it's very similar to the first Space Jam, but also very different. Yeah, it's... it's more of a modernized Space Jam. Yeah, and in my opinion, I think it, it, it treats the Looney Tunes better than the first one did. And LeBron's a better actor than Michael Jordan. Yeah, I'll So Michael that. Jordan is, ob is objectively a better base or basketball player. Sure. I wouldn't know. I'm not a sports guy. <laughs> I am. Uh, so, yeah, basically, LeBron's son and him get sucked into, how do I explain this, Warner Brothers digital servers. Basically, here's the way I see it. If you've seen Ready Player One, it's the Oasis, but only specifically Warner Brothers properties. Yeah. And like, I... Like, War like and Harry Potter... Bat the DC Universe, uh, Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz, Louis. The Mask, basically a bunch of Warner Brothers properties sucked into the servers, and <laughs> uh, Al G Rhythm, played by uh, Don Cheadle, uh, fr uh, surprisingly frightening Don Cheadle. Yeah, he was really good at being a villain. Uh, challenges him to a basketball game. That sounds to familiar. Get his back. But here's okay. Let's backtrack a smidge. LeBron's son, Dominic, or Dom, is a freaking genius who created his own video game that's like basketball, but it has all the usual power-ups, you know, all the cool things that make video games cool. Right. But LeBron wants him to play ball and wants, and doesn't... LeBron basically plays that role of that asshole father who, who, want, who wants to project himself onto his son. Yeah, I think now's as good a time as any to say we're going to talk about spoilers, so if you haven't seen this movie yet, uh, click off, but, yeah. And if you don't want to see it, that's fine. Yeah. I'm not going to, like, recommend it as, like, a great movie. If you're a Looney Tunes fan or a basketball fan, go ahead, see what you think. If you like the first one, let's see how you like this one. Yeah. I didn't like the first one, but I really like this one. So they go to Warner Brothers, where... The executives try to pitch this idea that Algorithm came up with. Right. That's like, you know, scan LeBron and put him in the movies. And LeBron says, that's a stupid idea. Yeah, and, and Alg Algorithm well. takes that personally. And he's like, stupid! And he gets pissed. So he basically cybernaps um, <laughs> Dom... Yeah, and tells kind of, LeBron, if you want him back, you and I are going to play some basketball. You said you wanted to play the game. Yeah. So then he's like, toss him in with the rejects. So he drops uh, LeBron into the Looney Tunes world, which is funny because here's the way, okay, here's the way I see it. In the first movie, it was the Tunes reaching out to Michael Jordan to help them play ball. Yeah, now it's LeBron and, reaching out to the Tunes. Yeah. So when he gets sent to the Toon World, he becomes a Toon. Physics and everything. Yeah. And he's cart and he's like cartoonized as well. Because in the first one, Le uh, Michael Jordan stayed Michael Jordan. Yeah. But now LeBron is animated. And I gotta be honest, it looks kind of weird. Yeah, this is probably the reason why there wasn't very many live at many humans in Looney Tunes. Right. With the exception of Elmer Fudd and... Yosemite Elmer Sam. Fudd, Granny, the gangsters. Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. But he was like... He was a very loony-looking person. Yeah, like, he, oh, yeah. Yeah, in more, in more look, ways than one. They didn't look like actual people. They weren't, like, proportionate to people. Right. 
And when he gets to the Toon world, the only Toon he finds is, of course, Bugs Bunny. Uh, slight, crazy, kind of drunk Bugs Bunny. Yeah, kind of depressed Bugs Bunny, which I can't believe they made Bugs Bunny depressed and lonely. How can well, you do that to Bugs Bunny? Easy. Make sure every, everybody else just ditches him. Yeah, for- which is exactly what happened because Al G came and said, oh, there's nothing for you here. Come to these other worlds. You'll find better purpose there. And everybody but Bugs left. Bugs is the only one with integrity. Because he was like, this is my home. This is where I was born. This is where I can be me. And so he and LeBron go to find every other last tune to reassemble the tune squad. Well, that's what Bugs' plan is. Right. Oh, yeah. LeBron's LeBron's trying to look for a legit team. Bugs is like, like, eh, don't aim too high, Doc. Oh, yeah. But LeBron's like, let's get the Iron Giant and Superman. Put them on the same team. (laughs) And when they go to the DC world, they actually... LeBron and Bugs turn into Batman and Robin. LeBron's like, I'm Robin? Really? And then the Superman theme plays, like the Christopher Reeve Superman <laughs> theme. <laughs> Fear not, <They> citizens! <laughs> oh yeah, Super Duck. Boo! Boo. And Daddy causes the train wreck. Yeah, he is and a train wreck. <laughs> he is a train wreck, yeah. But then Superman stops the train. Like, like the Superman actual stops, Superman. Stops the train and but Daffy's trying to take credit for it, and then he's like, it was all the pig. Mother. <laughs> yeah, so then they go to find, they find other characters in different worlds, like they find Granny and Speedy in the Matrix. <laughs> Arriba! Mi sombrero! Which, by the way, Speedy Gonzalez in this movie was voiced by Gabriel Iglesias. Fluffy! Fluffy! Damn! <laughs> Speedy said that. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and um, of course they have to get. Uh, they got basically the the you know iconic the iconic Looney Tunes. But there's the- one member from the Tune Squad they need to get who was in the first yeah. Space Jam. And Rapunzel's like, we need someone who actually knows how to play basketball. And Buzz's like, I know just the tune. <laughs> They go to Themyscira in the DC universe to get Lola. Who's apparently an Amazon now. And let me and honestly, even though she was voiced by Zendaya, who I'm not a huge fan of, god dang she looked cute. <laughs> like they somehow improved on the OG design. How could you improve on perfection? Right. I don't know, but they did it. And once they got everybody rounded up, LeBron's trying like hell to coach them on how to play basketball, but they're all just too loony. loony. <laughs> which LeBron doesn't take to because he's trying to win the game right. to get his son back, which I understand, but dude, it's the Looney Tunes. What did you expect? Yeah. Well, he didn't really have a choice either. Al G sent him there. <laughs> uh, and, Sam, and, shoot the ball. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? So, at one point, the game starts, and everyone's turned 3D. LeBron just turns back to normal. Yeah. And Also, while this is all going on, Al is trying to butter up Dom. Oh, yeah, making him seem like he like he appreciates him more than LeBron does. Yeah. Which by kind of horseshit. playing to his... Which, by, like, kind of playing to his technical side. Like, right. It, you know, like, saying, like, Ooh, you made this? Man, that's cool. Yeah, like, your dad won't let you be you. I'll let you be you. Then he, like... And he tells him he tells him that this is just, like, a game between him and his dad. He doesn't realize that they're, like, they're kind, kind of like their lives are at stake here. Yeah. And, um, like, when the like, game starts, uh, like, I, I love this because, like, it, when the game starts, half the court is filled with actual people who are watching this on their phones. They get transported there. And the other <laughs> half of the court is a bunch of Warner Brother owned characters. Yeah, like King Kong, the Iron Giant, the Mask. The Flintstones. Several Batman characters of different iterations. Uh-huh. I th- uh, Voldemort's there. <laughs> yeah. It was fun to, watch, to try and pick out all those differences. Yeah, the Animaniacs were there. Now, here, okay, just a heads up. I saw it in theaters. Dave was on HBO Max, so he has the benefit of all shit if you wanted to. Which, like I really, which I really didn't need to. 
I did. But, but I didn't. But uh, um, I... the the game it's it's weird because okay, so like Dom created this basketball video game, and you know right. how video games work: you get power ups and you got combo points, and that applies to this game. Which LeBron doesn't get because he plays actual fucking basketball. Right, the traditional way. And now he's got to learn how to adjust to this while also playing unfairly. They technically cheat. Moving the basket. Freaking throwing the ball in there several hundred times because you got multiple arms. Also, make having all the having the goon squad be like half human, half animals. Yeah. Being like unfairly, like stopping time or making time go slowly. That Chronos character, woof. That, that freaking, he, he, he freaking took uh, Roadrunner and made him seem all slow. That, that's just wrong. You don't do my boy Roadrunner like that. Meep. Meep. <laughs> for anyone, for any Chicken Bros listeners out there who doesn't know, Noah does this hilarious Roadrunner impression that makes me laugh every time. Well, it's only funny when it's on, the, when it's over the phone because of the way I do the meep meep. <laughs> it's the tongue thing I love so much. See? That's uh, what she said. Oh, shut up. Anyway, um, so, I, yeah, so, they're, like, they're getting creamed out there. And yeah, then at some point, no. Like, it's like a during halftime. halftime. Yeah, during halftime. <laughs> Sylvester says, he finds Michael Jordan. He's and like, they find, like, is Ernest? You found him? Then they get 66 from North Carolina, Michael Jordan. And it's Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> the actor. It's like, you thought that was Michael Jordan? It's been 25 years. I thought he aged gracefully. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then, like, you know, LeBron's mad because, like, they're... They're not playing basketball. And then Lola even says, we're not you. And yeah. that's when it clicks in his head. Like, yeah. Wouldn't let them be you. So then he realizes the only way they're going to win is if he lets them be loony. So then he gives Bugs the job of making the game plan. Because who's loonier than Bugs Bunny? The OG. And so they go out there. And I love that face that LeBron made to Al G when they got out there. That... <laughs> <laughs> was like, we're getting loony. And then they start scoring because they're playing by loony rules. Yeah, like getting run over by a train, turning it into old-timey radio. <laughs> Granny, like, totally owns that uh, Kronos guy. That's later in well, the... A well, that's during the them winning part. But, like... Yeah. <laughs> what in the AARP Wiley is going on this... here? <laughs> Wiley pulls out this device. Oh, yeah. It says it's King Wiley James that. Edition. He puts up the time to his ball, and then he just puts the ball in, which creates multiple balls, which go into the hoops. But then he gets stuck to it, creating multiple Wileys. And then each one holds up a sign and says, what have I done? I done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Wiley. He can't get a break. Even when he's on the good side, he can't get a break. And they eventually catch up and score, and they end up taking the lead. Yeah, but then fucking algae cheats are bringing this Kronos robot Time Lord thing. Who slows down the Roadrunner, like David said. Yeah, well, that, well, yeah, but remember, Granny makes him old, so she already took care of him. What she does, what Algy does at this point is puts uh, Dom up against uh, LeBron, and LeBron's like, nope, I'm going to have a one-to-one -one with my son. I'm going to have to talk to him. And they have, like, a heartfelt chat. And As they're like, supposed to be playing. And I was like, aw, cute. Yeah. You and know how much I love you, son? And then, you know, he goes over to the Toon Squad, and then Al G joins the Goon Squad. He's all like, I made this, just in case. <laughs> What's up, Dom? <laughs> and then freaking Al G turns into a goon. like A giant, like... Version of, of himself. himself. Yeah. And he cheats, too, because he anytime they score, he reverses it and dials back the score. Yeah. So like they can't even get any more points now. Yes, but but they're really close at this point. Yeah, like they're a point off, and they took and the goons took back the lead, and then. Uh, and then Lola's like, "What are we gonna do?" And then uh, I think LeBron is the one who suggested this move that he'd been trying to teach um, Dom. No, Dom. Dom, it's the it's the move that Dom did in his game that made his character glitch out. 
Yeah. It's like, wait, we can't do that. Because when I, when I did it in the game, my character got destroyed. So he know. So basically, it's one of those heroic sacrifice things. Yeah, whoever does the move, it'll work. They'll win the game because Algy can't stop them. But whoever does it will get deleted. And then LeBron is he? Uh, he plans to make the sacrifice, but but then fucking Bugs is like he you know jumps what? in front of the ball and takes it, and he makes the shot. Yeah, he makes the shot. They win. Well, yeah, at the, and, and like I love the bit where he. Tries to where LeBron takes the ball and tries to get it in the hoop. Algy brings him down. Then Dom tosses the boost up thing, and Algy's like, "That's cheating!" I'm like, "Bitch, you were cheating first. Yeah, you cheat the whole fucking time, asshole. And then he gets posterized. <laughs> oh man, posterized. And then uh, everyone who's human, anyway, goes back to Earth, or you know, you know, they go, they get sent back home. And all yep. the Warner Brothers characters leave, and or yeah, and then I, I'll, I'll admit the the movie got me. Where the movie got me the, too, the, buddy. The bug, the bugs, bugs the was bugs. like starting to glitch a bit because it's like he. Uh, and then when yeah. Dom, when Dom and LeBron oh, get yeah. sent back home, the Looney World is restored, and then he's like, "Look at us all back together again," and. They're all looking at him. He goes, that's all, folks. And then turns into a ball of light and shoots up into the sky. I'm like, you did not just kill Bugs Bunny. Did you just fucking kill Bugs Bunny? I was about to cry. I literally choked up. Like, I was like, don't do this to me, Bugs. Like, don't, don't Tony Stark me like that. Yeah, and then he cuts to one week later. LeBron sounds like he's taking Dom to basketball camp. He's like, you ready? You sure we can turn back? And he goes, hey, look. And it turns out it's the E3 camp, gaming camp that Dom wanted to go to. Yeah. I like hey, that. Hey, Dom. Ball. I think I'll hold on. on to it for a while. And then you hear, oh, I ain't that sweet. And I was like, oh, thank God he's not dead. Bugs wasn't dead. He goes, Bugs, how did you... I told you, Doc. I'm a cartoon. I can I survive can't... anything. Which is true. Yeah. Toons can live through pretty much anything. Except Dick. But that's a whole different... That's a different universe. Yeah. Or is it? And, uh, happily ever after. Well, there's a gag at the end where he's like, yeah, we kind of need a place to crash. Who's we? And then you see all these pictures of LeBron and the and the tunes just and hanging out. I love that. That was, it was, it was a surprise at how much I liked this movie. I was expecting it to suck. Yeah. And it's because not, it's not like a, like an amazing movie, but it was good. Yeah, it's, I would, I would watch it again. Oh, totally. Yeah. If it was, this was playing at a bar somewhere, and I'd pay attention. Yeah, or I would I get a DVD copy of this game, of this movie? Sure, maybe. Sure, sure. I'd buy it on mm-hmm. YouTube. But uh, yeah, that's uh, Space Jam Two. Yeah. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. It's seven out of ten, Doc. Seven out of ten. Thanks for the good rating, cousin. <laughs> Uh, and we're the Chicken Bros, and we'll see you guys next time. That's all, folks. Meep, meep.